In the past few months, our world has been in upheaval. It is as if we have been turned upside down and tossed around. During this time, darkness is being purged and brought to the light. Secrets are being revealed and life as we knew it is no longer the way it was. We spend days behind masks, fearful of an unseen menace. Many of us feel removed and disconnected from our fellow humans. As the mainstream media bombards us with statistics and predictions, we must remember that our world is still beautiful and that there is still good amongst us. Now, more than ever, it is imperative to show compassion and understanding. To see the splendor in our world and the beauty in our humanity. United we stand and divided we will fall. In this new series, Soulful Sunday, I will offer you reprieve from the chaos. I will shine my light for you and bring you comfort by sharing techniques and tools from the spiritual vein that will help to calm your mind, lighten your stress, and illuminate your soul. Hey there everybody, it's Lori. It's good to be back. Been away for a while. As some of you may know, we had um, a fairly big loss in our family um, about three months ago, four months ago, it was May 19th. My mother-in-law passed away unexpectedly. She had been having heart problems um, and she passed away during surgery to uh, remove some cancer that they found in her colon. And um, she didn't make it out of recovery, she passed in recovery. So that was, um, that kind of turned the world upside down for a while, combined with just everything else that's been going on. How are you all doing? Oh my goodness, all of my American subscribers, I'm thinking about you every, every day. And it's for you that I'm wearing this shirt today. I do believe that uh, we can change the world one thought at a time. And that is somewhat of where this channel will be going in the future. Um, still going to talk about rheumatoid arthritis. Still going to talk about that as much as I do now. But I've, start, but I've now started this new series called Soulful Sunday. And it will give you techniques and tools and tips to help with chronic pain, but coming from a more spiritual standpoint. So starting off today with this first video, we're going to take it really slow and really easy, and we're going to talk about breathing. Now, I know I thought when I first heard how breathing can help with chronic pain, I thought the person had absolutely flipped their lid and fallen off the rocker because, I mean, my thought was, well, how difficult can it be to breathe? Here's the thing, if you have pain, especially in your shoulders, back, rib cage, all those places where we sometimes will feel pain or not just sometimes, but a lot of times feel pain. When you breathe, you're taking in a breath. Of course, that's what breathing is. But when we breathe, we tend to breathe shallow if we have chronic pain, especially if that chronic pain is in our back anywhere. Because to get those good, deep cleansing breaths requires breath to the bottom of your stomach, to the bottom of your diaphragm. We don't do those when we are in pain. Like I say, we keep things shallow. So today I'm gonna do just a really short little quick lesson on how to breathe properly. Things that you can do throughout your day, just a little check-in on how you're doing with your breathing. So let's begin. So the first thing you wanna do, this is best either standing or sitting. I suggest sitting for the first few times though because you may 
find that you get a little lightheaded. Now, if you do get lightheaded, I suggest that you stop breathing this way, take a bit of a break, and then come back to it. Just until you get used to taking in that good, fresh oxygen. Okay, here we go. So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna place one hand on, oh, sorry, I don't wanna bump my mic, but you're gonna place it on your chest. Sorry about that, there was a bit of audio issues. You're gonna place it on your chest. So I'm not gonna do the chest because as I said, my mic is right here. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna cause your, you know, your ears to bleed. Anyway, back to what we're doing. Hand on chest, other hand on your stomach. And you're gonna breathe in for five, hold for five, and then exhale for five. So let's go. Now when you're breathing in, you want your hand down here on your tummy to push out. So breathe into your belly, in through your nose, hold for five, one, two, three, four, five, and exhale for five. One, two, three, four, five. Now when you exhale, you're gonna do it slow and you want your tummy to push back and fall and make it feel like your tummy button is gonna bump your spine. That's how we get those good deep breaths in. So let's do one more. Practice. Remember, hand on your chest. It should, so the hand on your chest should move out second. The first hand on your tummy is gonna move out first. Follow along. In for five. Hold for five. and exhale for five. Hold for five. Exhale for five. Okay. Sorry, my hands, you all know how it is. Doesn't, doesn't move the way I want it to sometimes. So that is getting those good, deep breaths in. Do that for about five or six times. Stop, go back to your regular breathing pattern. Check in a few times a day and do that. Because getting those good deep breaths in, we're oxygenating our blood properly. And not only that, but I find that it's a really good distraction technique if I'm having a spike in pain anywhere. I will, as I say, meditate and the breathing absolutely does help to distract me because I'm taking my mind off the pain and I'm putting it in my breathing. So that's it, breathing 101. <laughs> Everybody, take care. Have a fantastic, fantastic week. Stay safe and I will talk to you. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye for now.